Hello everyone, this is Mustafa. I'm a graduate student at Boise State University. So me and my advisor, Dr. Francesca Espezano, for this research has worked on automatic detection of sock puppets and in Wikipedia. So before diving deep into, uh, let's have a generic understanding of sock puppetry and horses' uh, significance in Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is a free online encyclopedia that's based on open collaboration. Its principle is for the people, by the people. Almost anyone can contribute and edit in Wikipedia. And then generally, Wikipedia is the uh, articles are written from reliable and neutral sources. So in Wikipedia or in any social media platform like we have Facebook, Instagram, use of multiple accounts is uh, is not accepted. So improper use of this multiple account is called sock puppetry. The primary account is called the sock puppeter and the unique individual behind this is called the puppet master. And these multiple accounts are generally uh, done for block evasion, for false majority claim vote stacking and many other things. So there has been various studies done on Wikipedia sock puppetry. One was done by Dr. Solari et al, who considered Wiki, uh, stylistic features from comments on article uh, article pages. Another study was done by uh, an, um, um, done on both uh, aggregated. Uh, it was an aggregated analysis where they considered both the article and talk pages comment. Uh, Dr. Yamagata considered Wikipedia specific features and it has a, it, this study, uh, sock puppetry investigation also has been done by in cross platforms like in Twitter or like um, across like uh, news articles or like political articles and etc. So how sock puppetry is currently detected in Wikipedia and how they are handling it. So use of this multiple account is a, this, uh, for disruptive purpose is a violation of Wikipedia sock puppetry policy. There are various signs like excessive support for 1K, one cause, similar username, etc. Usually there is a check whether inquiry based system where, a, where when the user actually complains about an account being sock puppet. And it's later manually checked, uh, checked for those sock puppetry by these uh, privileged editors, and finally push to the administrator account for their final verdict. But this is a very time lengthy process, expensive, and definitely non robust and a manual process. Because Wikipedia is open to all and it's important, almost anyone can edit. An automated system, detection system is essential for Wikipedia as early as possible. So to collect the data for this sock puppetry detection, we look forward to media wiki API, which provides meta information about wiki and logged in users. So for the, from this media wiki API, we looked for suspected Wikipedia accounts and looked for all the subcategories, Altnato's main category and in all from those all those subcategories we look for user accounts and the con different pages where they contributed and collected all the edits that they have made in all those accounts. We collected around 20,000 accounts and leveled all those as positive data. We kept our contribution up to 20 in order to make it consistent across all users. This is how the data uh, looks like. So in order to contrast these uh, uh, positively identified sock puppet account, we need genuine users. So we selected genuine accounts from this paper by Dr. Kumar et al. And through the same process, we collected uh, the pro data for genuine users also. So from all these data, we collected, uh, extracted some features like username based feature, number of disease, number of leading disease in username, etc. User contribution based features like average contribution, like average title length, etc. Finally, we collected content based feature, which is our main argument in this uh, paper. Like uh, we wanted to understand the deep inheritance semantics meaning because our argument is that it would help us to understand the internal writing pattern of users, which is certainly essential for detecting soft puppetry or the accounts that is been operated by the same user. We also considered BERT. We didn't fine tune BERT, rather we collected contextual embeddings from from BART for all the comments or the edits and collected the embeddings from the last layer and used those directly as features in our model. We also collected or generated topics, LDA top, uh, topics from through LDA from Genesum library and distributed the uh, probability of uh, probability of this uh, of these topics for each user's contribution and use those as features we considered up to 20 edits. Uh, from this, we developed or uh, from all the features that I have developed uh, discussed so far, we considered several classical algorithms and developed models like Lambda Forest, Logistic Regression, etc. We used, uh, we considered user level data for classical algorithms. We actually averaged all the features that I discussed earlier and used those as features for the classical algorithm. 
we also wanted to understand the temporal dependencies of user edit pattern so we considered all the edits uh, and uh, developed a LSTM based model and also used uh, like page ID, parent ID, namespace, all those information as the user edit level data. But before that, we label and coded them. And we finally used F1 score to evaluate the performance of our model. We also evaluated our work with uh, some of the related work that has been done on this field in the past, by, like this uh, work by Dr. Solorio et al, who considered authorship attribution or AA features. And also uh, they included Wikipedia specific features. Another study was by Dr. Emma Kadal, who uh, considered like number of user contribution by namespaces and etc. We additionally considered ORES, which is Objective uh, Revision Evaluation System. It's a machine learning based prediction system by Wikipedia, who uh, who categorize all the articles in four categories like OK, attack, spam, and uh, vandalism with a score. We considered all these previous studies in uh, with in comparison to our work. <clears throat> So finally, the results, uh, Random Forest was the one which performed the best with all our features that we, uh, we have already discussed. LSTM uh, didn't perform as well as Random Forest. So the user level data or edit level data didn't contribute much. So if we con consider our results with our uh, with our competitors, it's, uh, we can see that LSTM has the, uh, sorry, uh, Random Forest has the best performance in, in comparison to all our competitors. In terms of LSTM, Solarizon performed a bit better than ours. <laughs> So early detection of Wikipedia sock puppet account is possible. So with just only one edit, our features can uh, detect uh, sock puppetry with an F1 score of 0 0.73. And it actually increases with the number of uh, features included or if we consider more edits. Uh, for the LSTM, our model initially performed better. But after like 10 edits, it was crossed by uh, LSTM with solar feature a bit. But even with our features with random points, it is always on top and perform the best uh, in terms of early detection or even uh, detection with more and more edits for better performance. We additionally did an ablation study and LDA topics was the one which uh, had the more most contribution in terms of our model performance. Even with individual features, when you consider all the features, our per model performed better than all of us, of which, uh, irrespective of one edit or up to 20 edits. So finally, we address the issue of automatic sort pattern detection in Wikipedia. We introduced novel features like topics and embeddings. Random Forest was the uh, more, Random Forest part perform all the previous work, and early detection is possible with just uh, one edit is up to an F4 score of 0.73. Oh, topics are really important in our model, and we have released all this data for future research community to further investigation on this work. Thank you for all for your patience, and I would like to uh, request any questions you might have.